Last week, we went over premises liability and some of the different categories of premises liability. And we said that this week, we're going to go specifically go over dog bites. What are your liabilities as the landowner, as a premise owner, when your dog attacks and injures someone? And what are your rights as the injured party, as somebody who was attacked by that dog? Let's go over the second question first. And then your liability as the landowner are going to become very clear. In order to have a successful claim for a dog bite case in Georgia, you have to prove two things. That the animal was vicious or dangerous and the owner knew about it. The animal was vicious or dangerous and the owner knew about it. There are no presumptions in Georgia that one breed of dog is more vicious, more dangerous than any other. As a matter of fact, there's a presumption that all dogs are harmless unless the owner knew something different. So what does this mean? Unless the owner had the dog trained to be an attack dog, for example, then that presumption goes right out the window. But I have great news, my friends. There's a, a better way, another way to approach this that's going to be easier. What is a better way? That's by going through leash law. So what are leash laws? Leash laws are generally set by ordinances. These are laws that are set by counties, municipalities. These laws generally require that the dog be at heel or on a leash, and they weren't. In that case, the owner's knowledge of the dangerous propensity of the dog was run out the window. You don't need to prove that. Things become so much easier. Sometimes, some leash laws require the dog to be confined. And it goes in front of a jury and the jury kind of decides, okay, was this dog really confined or not? But another way to go about dog bite cases is by what we discussed last week, premises liability. But again, if you go through the route of premises liability, you still have to prove owner's knowledge. But of course, this doesn't mean that you're not going to have a case. That's why you would come and talk to a professional who does personal injury law so that we can better guide you as, what, as to what your rights are. As always, my friends, stay tuned for the next episodes and have a great weekend.